So let's go over how we do a ball crunch on a stability ball. Now, the first thing is you got to make sure that the ball is about the height of your, from your knee to your foot, okay? Uh, you can play around with that a little bit, but you want to make sure that when you're doing this, okay, your hip is not significantly lower than your knee, okay? Otherwise, that's going to uh, create some dysfunction in your hips. So one, one of the things I want to do is just give you a quick tip, a really efficient way to do a ball crunch. As we kind of lean back and we support our neck and we sit up, what we notice is that our back really wants to curve, okay? My back does it because I practice this all the time. We want to make sure that we actually kind of get what's called a pelvic tilt, right? Flexed up so that we actually decrease our range of motion, but we're actually flexing our lower abdominals, okay? Now what we're doing is we're going to flex, hold it, slowly come down, flex, slowly come down. So we're going to go slow motion, really get those abs engaged, slowly come down. It's almost like we're double flexing those abs, okay? And this is much more efficient than if we're just kind of letting our 